So for example, I had a student who was very interested in biographies. Um, he was also very interested in the way an author decided to um, organize his or her text features on the page. And we found a lot of Time for Kids little miniature biography books where there are lots of colorful pictures. The books had detailed text features that were kid friendly. So when he looked through the book, he could really focus on the text features and see where it was appropriate to include a text feature, um, what kind of, how the words would surround a text feature, how a caption would help a reader understand the text feature even better. So because he was so interested in the biographies and including text features and including very specific details about Harriet Tubman's life, when he was able to go through the mentor text and see how the layout of each page looked and also see what kinds of text features were appropriate for a biography, he was able to apply that to the biography that he wrote and he thought about specific photographs that he wanted to include in the biography um, with captions to show his new learning about that person. He also included a timeline and a map, things very specific to that person's life, so that way his readers were able to gain the understanding that he was able to gain through the mentor texts. So when he wrote his biography, he chose to write about Harriet Tubman, and when we were going through the text features, he decided that he wanted a photograph of Abraham Lincoln in this biography. And when he was sharing this with the other students in the class, they were looking at this picture and asking him why he decided to choose Abraham Lincoln in a biography about Harriet Tubman. And he very eloquently stated to them that if you read the caption, it explains to you that Abraham Lincoln was an abolitionist, just like Harriet Tubman was. And that was an important connection for his readers to make since a lot of them knew about Abraham Lincoln. So he applied that knowledge of text features to his own biography to share something important with his readers that he wanted them to know.